So in this video, I'm going to be discussing this picture here. So what, so, well, let's, let's get a little closer. Let's, let's get, let's look at this thing right here. You know, I'm trying to think of things to make, you know, make this video interesting. I mean, why? Why did I pick this this picture here? Because it's big, but it's very large. I mean, you know, that's my hand. <laughs> my hand. My hand's about as big as his hand. I guess I don't know. I better not get too close. Anyway, let's let's just read this. Portrait of Colonel Jonathan Williams from 1750. 1850, 15. Now, I think that means that this was painted in 1815, which is when he died. So this was painted shortly before he died. Uh, artist Thomas Sully, American, bo American born, American born in England, born in England, 83, 1870. He, he lived, well, 90, but, 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 but. 91 years, 90 years, 89 years, something like that. He lived a long time, and he was extremely, he painted 2,600 pictures. 2,600. Oil on canvas. Okay, this, this monumental image, it's, it's big. I mean, as you can see, it's huge. Which begs the question, why is it so big? I mean, what, you know, I mean, what are you gonna do with a picture this size? What are you gonna do with a picture this size? I mean, it's huge. It takes at least two people to carry it, to, to transport this. At least two. I mean, but it's gigantic. I mean, it, you know, if you're wondering why, why do, uh, what are art galleries for? I mean, because you, that's the only place you can see a picture like this. Anyway. Monumental, how many minutes? Three minutes. Uh, the monumental image of Jonathan Williams, the famed military engineer, the first superintendent of West Point, military academy, great nephew of Benjamin Franklin, shows the artist's flair for the dramatic portraiture. Colonel Williams sits before a view of the New York Harbor and Castle Williams, part of the fortifications he designed for the city prior to the war. And was living in Philadelphia Mount Pleasant Mansion, which is a very nice mansion, when Sully, the city's finest portrait artist, painted him. Having placed his gilded sword aside, he turns blue eyes to the viewer. Gift of Alexander Biddle. 1964. <laughs> There's his gilded sword. Hmm. There's his gilded sword. And he, this man, he, he, he died from gout. That's what it said. I looked it up and uh, he died from gout. How did he die from, well, he died from gout at 65. He, and he had a pretty um, interesting life. He, uh, he was, he's in a, you know, according to Wikipedia, he, he was in a duel. He was in a duel in which both the, the, the both of the participants missed their mark. So, for instance, so, and he had a pretty interesting life. Uh, now, let's talk about Sully, Mr. Sully, Thomas Sully, the artist.
Thomas Sully. Who's in there? Okay. Now you, okay, now, Thomas Sully painted a picture that everyone is familiar with. Everyone in, in living in the United States is familiar. Everyone is familiar with this picture. And I'm about to show you this picture that Thomas Sully painted that you are probably familiar with. Uh, and you might even carry in one of his pictures right now. You might even be carrying one of his pictures right now. Now, I was not carrying one of his pictures prior to this video. So I had to go to the bank. I had to go to the bank and get one of his portraits. So, you ready to see a picture one of John Sully's other portraits? I mean, he painted, painted 2,000 uh, 600 pictures in his lifetime. Now you're, you're about to see just one of his pictures. Yes, this is a John Sully. That's a John Sully. Is, it, is his name on, on here? No, it's Jackson. But John Sully painted this uh, picture of Andrew Jackson. John Sully's name was not on here. He painted this picture. Mm -hmm. And so we will be saying au revoir. Au revoir. So, uh, what's his name? Jonathan William. Au revoir. Oh, speaking of au revoir, Jonathan, this guy, he, he went to France. He was in France a few times. Oh, he had a very colorful life. And, you know, most people, let's face it, nobody, most people never, including me, they just happened to come across this picture because it's, you know, so big. And, and because it's, um, blah, 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 blah. It's, uh, close to the cafeteria. <laughs> you know, the cafeteria is right down the hall. From here. Mm. Just get you some idea of what.